Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to go over using the stroke command, and we're going to do that by um, using a selection. So it's going to be pretty easy to show you. So let's just go over here to uh, your selection and just go ahead and make a selection. Um, click on it and just make any anything you want. And I'm just going to do the square because it's right there. So what we're going to do is uh, make sure that your selection is on a new layer. So, um, that'll be just easier to uh, follow along with. And come up here to edit and then we're going to go to stroke. And what a stroke is, is um, a line around the outside of your selection. So you actually have the option to make it on the center of your selection, on the outside, or on the inside. Um, the, you can adjust the width, the color, and then um, here's some blending mode stuff, but um, I wouldn't worry about that too much. So go ahead and add something like 5 pixels. Change the color to anything you want. I'll just change it to black. And then we'll just start on the whatever's in, already clicked on, which for me is center. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see along the dotted line here, if I zoom in, you can see that with the uh, stroke uh, went out from the center of the dotted line and uh, that's how it created it using the center. I'm going to hit control Z to go back. Let's go back to the stroke and this time we'll just do inside and you can see now that on the inside of the dotted line that's where the stroke is and I'm sure you all know what's going to happen next it's going to be on the outside when I click on outside here. So that's how you use the stroke the next thing that I want to show you is called a fill. So what I'm going to do is, to illustrate this a little better, is I'm going to create uh, another selection. So let's uh, move back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, subtract from the selection here. So we got like a box here that is has a hole in the middle of it. So if I add a stroke right now, edit stroke we'll add that in and I'll just make this like two pixels and I'll just hit outside you can see now that they're uh, they are on the outside of the box so this box that I made is missing the middle if I take off this uh, background you can see well I guess it didn't really matter if I took off the background but that's how it's worked now this is good for me to demonstrate what a fill is for you so I'm going to undo the stroke and let's go ahead and add a fill. And what a fill does is it just fills in uh, between your selection here. The one that I'm going to pick right now is going to be um, the foreground color, which is going to be black. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that the middle has been filled in, or the selection has been filled in. Now if I go ahead and maybe like add another shape within here, I'll just throw this in here. And that did not work. Okay, that's fine. That is because I switched into another shape. Let me go back to my rectangle. Let's add in here. And then let's just go to edit, fill. And we got a foreground color again. I hit it, and then you can see that since this is now part of the shape, this has also been filled in. So uh, that's how the fill works. Let's go into the fill and check out some of the other options. We've got the ability to use our background color, which would have been white. I can choose a color, so let's choose uh, red. Hit OK. And that's how that fills in like that. We can add a stroke on top of our fill, if we would like, to get something like this. And then, let's go back to fill. Um, we've got um, a couple other options here. Con content aware uh, fills it in with, what is, with what's uh, underneath. Pa pattern will, you're able to select a pattern that you have downloaded into Photoshop. And um, history here you can uh, use like a snapshot or something like that and we've got black 50% gray and white 
Now if we click on uh, preserve transparency here, it'll preserve any areas that are actually transparent. So if I click that, hit OK, it'll preserve anything that is uh, transparent within the object. So this stuff will always remain transparent because it is. So that's uh, a little neat. And uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, fill and stroke using our selections here. So thanks for watching it, and if you have any questions, write them in the comments, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. And thanks for watching, everybody. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Have a good one, everyone.